Come in, come in. Please watch your step there. Make yourselves at home. Hello, I am Kianja, one of the commanders. Ah, hello, Kianja. Uh, yes, I've heard of you. It's an honor to meet you, Mayor Domina. This is Marcus, second in command. How you doing? Ah, very well, thank you. And Dominic here is our legatus from Rome. Oh, pleasure, Signore. Ah, we're hosting a diplomat this evening. How wonderful. And this is Meng Yao, the Jade Dragon of Rome. She's a sorceress. Hello, Signore. Thank you for having us. My goodness. Such an honor to meet you all. Thanks, Asper. Um, most of our men will be lodging here tonight. Some are out hunting at the moment. Very good. Oh, outside the city limits, of course. Uh, yes. We were made aware of the, uh, accommodations needed for your visit. Well, I am Asper. I own this little villa and my servant there in the corner next to the window. The one bearing water. They will bring you whatever you and your men might need tonight. You only need to ask it of them. So what and, are uh, you doing who here are you? Today? It's not a stay for pleasure, hey. I presume. <laughs> water bearer. Ah, no, servant. Yes, you. <laughs> Finally caught your attention. Oh, Hello. Exciting. And what's your name, my dear? It's okay. You don't have to tell him anything. It's best if you don't. Greetings. I'm Meng Yao. So you're on your way to Africa, you Not very talkative, I take it. That's okay. I quite understand. Supplies with heartbeats and strong hands, I take it? Something like that. Please, come. Gods, you look so familiar. Haven't I seen you before? Perhaps back in Rome? You know, I never forget a face. Well, anyways, thank you, citizen, for having us tonight. I know it must seem like quite an imposition. Uh, Asper, we need to make it abundantly clear. There are men and women among us who are unique. Huh. <laughs> You're a vampire, aren't you? Oh, no. Uh, what? <laughs> How could you tell? Oh, huh. I have quite a bit of witch blood in me myself. I feel a burning under my skin just being near some of you. Especially you, Kianja. But not to worry, you're still welcome to stay, one and all. Wow, thank you, Asper. Please, enjoy. Ah, uh, a fellow sorcerer? <laughs> Please, Asper, I would love to hear more of your lineage. We shall make time tonight, Jade Dragon, I'm sure. Kianja, let's get settled by the fire. Oh, okay, Marcus. <sighs> What a beautiful breeze coming through the window. How are you faring, Dominic? Uh, faring well. Jade Dragon, uh, isn't Akeem somewhere around here to play with? He's hunting. Besides, I want to talk to you. I'm so glad we got to go on this trip together. I'm really starting to enjoy your company now that we're out of Rome. Now that I understand you better. And look, I can even stand next to you without having to use a veil. Hmm, yes, you're right. I haven't smelled the scent of burning skin as often lately. Does this mean we're finally friends? I'd like to be. You would be a good friend to have, I think, despite what everyone else says. <sighs> Gee, thanks. I guess you're not all bad yourself. Once I was able to separate the witch from the woman, I can almost see what Akeem is so obsessed with. Akeem? Obsessed? I hadn't noticed. <laughs> Gods, that man is utterly transfixed upon you. Though it would probably help if you didn't also spend your free nights helping him pick the dried blood and bone from his hair after each battle. <laughs> it's sticky, I like it. <laughs> You're so odd. <laughs> ah. Oh, Dominic, what's wrong? It's nothing. No, Dom, something's not right. Please. Tell me. Fine. Come here. Next to the window. Oh. And this doesn't leave this villa. Okay. It's it's these headaches I've been having. The real Dominic, the other soul inside. He's been having nightmares every night lately, trying to push me out. He's getting stronger while I'm getting weaker. It must be the stress of this trip. Oh, great ball. I, I had no idea that Dominic was even aware of... He wasn't at first. He's been sleeping in a way, but he's waking up and we're fusing, maybe. 
I've only ever been able to possess his body, but now we're becoming one mind, one soul. I feel what he feels, and you never would have guessed, but he's also quite taken with you. <laughs> really? <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I can remember his memories too. When he was a slave. Oh, oh dear. These memories, they're horrific, immensely distracting. And he's got this sudden influence over me. He makes me feel like a human. I've never inhabited a living body this long. And I don't think I have enough magic to find another one to possess. I have to make this work, Meng Yao. I've come so far as Dominic, and I could never convince Kianja to replace him. Oh, hmm, I see. I'm so very sorry, Great Ball. It's quite all right, Meng Yao. Is it the stress of keeping it all a secret? Maybe if you told them? Told them that you're really a great djinn of the desert? No, come here. You can never breathe a word of this to anyone. Those who need to know already do. If anyone else discovers I'm more than just a vampire, I'll lose everything. No one can trust a djinn, as they say. But I do. I trust you. And Dominic. Uh... Thank you. Though you seem to trust anything with more sentience than a stray cat. <laughs> it's like... He senses something, something coming. It's like he sees something I can't. You know, I never got to read your tea leaves. Maybe when we get back to Rome, which, I mean, Meng Yao. Um, you mean Jade Dragon? Oh dear gods, it's gone to her head. <laughs> Dominic, come, Asper is pouring blood wine. Oh yeah, um, blood wine. I haven't had that in ages. Well, excuse me, my dear, duty call. So I hear there's a party that started without me. How very dare you all. Mm, poor Dominic. <laughs> a party without Dominic? Unlikely, but not impossible. Hello, princess. Back from hunting? Yes, it was um, a challenge, but we got a few good... Hmm? <laughs> the water bearer can hear you. What did I say? They're standing right there, Akeem the Wise. Oh, sorry there, I didn't see you. Anyways, they're having blood wine by the fire. I would advise against it. There are witches amongst us. Oh, strange witch blood wine. That sounds like fun. Come on. Gross, Akeem. I don't want any. I want regular wine, Asper. Regular wine. Servant, come. Sit by the fire with us. Oh, come on. No one's drinking water tonight. Come, come. Sit next to me. I won't bite. There. Tonight, you're about as useful as Asper's toupee. <laughs> Ugh, Dominic. This is not a wig! Why would you say that, Dom? I think it looks nice, Asper. This is not a wig! Who were your parents? Who taught you manners? What guys! The man said to make ourselves at home. And, and this is my... my love language. You all know that. Well, I feel the love then, Dominic. Smothered. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you need? You need a familiar. Something to, uh give you some perspective. A good distraction. Something to help you, uh, I don't know, learn how to treat people, I guess. Hmm. Well, maybe I've already got a few prospects at home. Dom. I actually just met a fellow with a very interesting hobby he might be able to teach me. Dom. <laughs> what? Oh yeah? Well, how about a dog? Can you turn a dog into a vampire? They'd make a good companion, right? No, hellhounds can be a handful. And they don't quicken quite right every time. Same with any other animal. Believe me, we tried them all. More effort than they're worth. A lot of training and feeding. Very expensive. And they never live as long as you'd like. Oh! And you can't turn a, a baby, can you? Absolutely not. That is the most appalling of vampire sins one can commit. Consent must always be given by any human blooded to me or my house. Is... That what happened to Claudius? That soldier we picked up coming back from Britannia the first time? I always wondered. Well, he is no longer with us. Some vampires become desperate and lonely 
and they start to miss their life. From before, they long for some semblance of normalcy, nostalgia. But these vampire children, they're abominations, and they don't last too long after the quickening. Hmm. But what about Akeem? How old was he when you made him your familiar? Well, familiars are different. They're still quite human. But he was quite young, yes. Around eight or nine, right, Akeem? But he was willing. And I was a fool. I should have never done it. Ugh, that's the wine talking. You don't really mean that. You're saying you regret it? Oh, I didn't say I regret it. I just... Meeting you was one of the best days of my life. You'll always be my son. I just thought I was giving you everything you could want in life, but I wasn't even giving you anything you needed. It was more than what his parents gave him, Kianja. And I think you're a great mother, Kianja. Yeah, you did all right, Commander. Thanks, everyone. So, uh, how does one become a vampire? You just, uh, bite someone and the change ensues? No, once bitten, you have only a day to drink the blood of your master. And the more, the better. Our fangs carry venom, as do our bones and other places. If the venom enters you and meets your blood, it will attack your body, make it weak, like the worst illness you've ever endured. But your master's blood will temper its own venom. It cools the fever and eases the body. It fills the senses. It helps you fight off the venom as it recognizes itself in the blood. Even then, you may not survive. But if you do, it will be the most intense season of your life. Your body will adapt to the venom, make you its new home. It tells you when to drink, refuses you food and water, denies you sunlight, which instantly kills it through your skin. It creates a new creature. But every evening you awaken, your body will have already started to regenerate, the venom returning you to the state in which it found you, scars and all. It's miraculous, but it is a curse. Young Dominic. I'm okay, Meng Yao. Thank you. Your eyes, Prince Akeem. What? <laughs> They're like daggers. Oh, Marcus, leave him alone. <laughs> what do you mean? <sighs> Nothing. But how come you never smile? You're always so serious all the time. Does nothing amuse you? You're like an iron vault. What's going on in there? Thinking about stealing something or something? <laughs> no, I... I guess I just live in my head a lot. But inside the world in my head, I'm always smiling. Oh, don't worry, Marcus. You'll always know what he's thinking. Because Meng Yao can literally read his mind at this point, And she's never farther than an arm's reach away from him. Isn't that the truth? Oh, come on. Let's have a smile, Akeem. Drink and be merry for a whole minute of your eternal life. Come on, do it! Smile. I know it's in there. <laughs> Ooh, look <laughs> at now that. Now there's a smile. Huh. But I thought vampires have fangs. Where are your fangs, Akeem? Oh, well, they aren't always out. As long as you don't cross me, you likely won't see them yourself. But if you do, it'll probably be the last thing you see. Ooh! I'm paralyzed with fear. <laughs> That was very menacing, Akeem. Ha ha ha. Um, no, I'd actually take him pretty seriously, Asper. Oh. <laughs> I don't plan on crossing him myself. Oh, uh, sorry, Akeem. The fangs, sometimes they'll come forth on their own if we feel threatened. It's part of the venom's defenses. Most fledglings, as in new vampires, they won't have their fangs for a few weeks, maybe even a month, but they're always growing always growing? Yes, like a snake's fangs. We lose our fangs in battle all the time. Sometimes they just fall out. In fact, I still have Akeem's first fangs hidden away in my apartment. Oh, no. Kianja, please don't do this to me. <laughs> what? It was cute. So you're like snakes. Do the women lay eggs too? <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. Hey, easy there. All right, Asper, okay? Oh, I'm sorry, Commander. That's still a lady you're speaking to. You're right. I'm sorry, Kianja. All right, then. <laughs> it's okay, Asper. Our blood is poison to all living things, and our bodies are fortresses of death. 
Nothing can breach it or spring forth from it, I guess. I see. Well, uh, on that note, I'll pour some more wine. Who'd like to donate a bit of blood to Kianja's century next? How about you, water bearer? Mind fulfilling your duties of providing refreshment? We're all quite parched, love. <laughs> Don't listen to him, you're doing great. I know this is a lot. Dom's a snag right now, actually. That's what you call him, right? A snag? When you only got one fang going? No, look, see? There's just the one in there. I'm still just as deadly, Marcus. <laughs> I take his word for it, Commander. You know he's pretty lethal with the sword now. A fast striker. Well, this body is so lean and limited that I almost never get the chance to strike twice. I must cut them down swiftly and precisely. I've nearly lost every important appendage in battles past. Sounds like your political career also applies. And what do you mean by this body? What do you mean? Well, I don't know. Just the things you say sometimes. Makes me and my boys wonder if maybe you're not just a vampire or something. Does it, Commander? Well, Marcus, he's not just a vampire. Digress yourself, witch. He's greater than a mere vampire. Aren't you, Dominic? Mongyao, not here. Sorry, Kianja. Whoa! You're just so proud of your good friend Dom, aren't you, Jade Dragon? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not as good of a friend as the alchemist is to her, though. That's for Dom. sure. Dom! Oh. <laughs> uh, alchemist? Don't listen to him. Yes, witch, Satoshi. And he's deranged. He followed you all the way to Rome. What do you mean? Well, go on. Ask your beloved Akeem about it. Your so-called protector. He's spoken to the alchemist about you at great length, like a couple of magpies. Isn't that right, brother? Akeem, is this true? Satoshi found me, uh, and you spoke to him, well, and you I, didn't tell me? I, I didn't want you to worry. Akeem, how could you? Wait, Meng Yao, wait. <laughs> oh, I will definitely be paying for that one later. As uh, Heraclitus once said, Hide our ignorance as we will. An evening of wine soon reveals it. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that the children have left... Children? Dom, really? And how old were you when you were bit? Oh, um, let's see. It was a leap year, so... He's... Dominic is 23. 23? Hmm. A bit young, don't you think, Kianja? Yes, I, I see that now, but I was only 27 myself when I was turned into a vampire, and I... Turned out okay, right? Flawless, mistress. Stunning as ever. But you're the blood mother, aren't you? You've been alive longer than anyone on the planet. How do you live so long with all that life lurking behind you? The memories. Do you still have them all? All those thousands of years? Yes, but I chose to focus on the good ones and not the bad ones. Good ones like Aradegi? Yes, and if I stopped to think alone too long, I would probably go insane. Not just because of the things I've seen, but because of the things I've done. To survive. Like that silver in your eyes? Yes. How did you do it? Didn't it hurt? The pain was unfathomable. So why even do it to yourself? When I was a master thief some years ago, my companions and I resorted to making our eyes nocturnal. But it's irreversible and quite bothersome during the day. Even when I'm wearing the jade sunglasses Meng Yao offered me. Ah, why not just ask a witch to charm your eyes or something? We could never trust witches with spells and curses, especially when it came to our senses. We didn't exactly know how it all worked, and they have been unreliable in the past. But, God, it was beautiful. My den of thieves were absolutely committed to the night with me. We worshipped the moon herself. If you were in my den, your eyes must reflect her as a rite of passage and initiation. And to be permitted to collect any bounty for yourself, of course. Yes, we were hunters, creatures of the night. With even just a trickle of starlight cast down from the nightly heavens, we can still spot you in the dark, helpless, defenseless, ours for the taking. We have very intelligent prey, a bit of a stretch there, mistress. Any advantage we can take, we will. Dominic, you don't have these nocturnal eyes. Does that mean you couldn't keep what you stole? Yeah, were you 
Scared of doing something so trivial as pouring molten metal into your open eyes? Uh, Marcus, you're embarrassing me in front of the water bearer. You're right, Dom. I'm sorry. Look, uh, Asper. My eyes see all they need to. My dear new friend, nothing escapes my gaze. Now come, get up. Follow me. I'd like to show you something you might not have noticed. Water bearer, accompany me, please, if you will. Hmm. What is it about you? Maybe it's your scent. You would make a nice, quiet familiar, wouldn't you? Would you consider... Okay, what am I looking at? Ah, yes. Now I noticed a fresco painted on the fountain floor here. It is of my beloved mistress herself. Meng Yao, you have to believe me. I wasn't trying to hurt you. I thought you didn't want anything to do with Satoshi. Weren't you... afraid of him? Akeem, you don't understand. He was protecting my family. I wasn't sure what was going to happen to them after I lost contact with the alchemist. I left a note, but I was never sure he got it. I've been worried sick about my mother and my brothers and sisters. Akeem, you were wrong to keep that from me. Now let's pour another glass of our finest men, shall we? I'm sorry, So, uh, you got witch blood, Asper? Oh, sure. Most people do, I think. But even a half-witch can't do much magic. Maybe a few spells and incantations. Maybe a milky vision in your sleep every once in a while, huh? But I'm certainly nothing like your eastern witch. Boy, is she something. Uh, yes, a real gem. <sighs> you know what, Jade Dragon? Please come back. I apologize about the alchemist. I'm guilty of keeping it from you myself. Do you forgive me, my friend? Hmm. Only if you let me read your fortune. Right now. Yeah, all right. Fine, let's do it. Read my fortune. Really, Dominic? <sighs> Now's as good a time as any. Oh, what a treat. Water bearer. Put that thing down already, won't oh, you? I can't wait to see what your future holds, Dominic. Akeem, come sit next to me, please. It's cold. All right, all right. Here, use my cloak. Thank you. So, uh, what do I do? We don't seem to have any tea leaves at the moment. Hmm. How about a lock of hair? My hair? Um... Okay, all right. Let me grab my knife and I'll... <laughs> Ouch! Mong Yao, did you just rip the hair from my head? Keep it down. You'll heal. This... Yes, this should be enough, I think. <laughs> oh my god, this girl is nuts. You're, uh... Licking the hair? No, 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 no. Shh, let me focus. Kianja, I'm telling you, there's something off with this girl. Shh, I want to hear Marcus. I see. Oh, wow. What? What do you see? You will cross a great ocean, greater than anything you've ever sailed over before, and then you will become the ruler of a new town, a new Rome. You're in charge, and you protect the people there. And it's... it's the beginning of a new start. A new Rome? Really? And, uh, how far into the future is this? I can't tell, but it looks like a desert in a new land. I'm sorry. Like I said, vampire fortunes are almost like mirages to me. Half-realized visions. But this will happen. Isn't that exciting, Dominic? It's, it's very motivating, actually. Thank you, my friend. New Rome. Couldn't imagine they'd ever need another one, but I hope I get to see it, Dominic. Yes, I hope to be there beside you one day. As Heraclitus once said, nothing endures but change. And he also said, big results require big ambition. All right, my philosophers, we'd better get some sleep. We've got a long trip ahead of us. Good night, Meng Yao. Good night, Akeem. Good night, Marcus. Good night, Kianja. Good night, water bearer. Mm -hmm. Kianja, Akeem, wake up. Kianja, Akeem, wake up. Wh what's going on? It's nighttime. No, Kianja. I know it's dark outside right now, but it's the middle of the day, all right? Look, we need to move now. The mountain, it's... It's erupting. I wanted to wait before I woke you guys up. In case it was a false alarm, 
we've been watching it all day, thinking it was just gonna fizz out, but it's about to blow. I already have our men gathering residents and leading them to the beach. What? The mountain is erupting. Where's Meng Yao? Come on, get up. We need to move now, soldier. We'll find her later, Akeem. No, where is she? Enough. Marcus, where's Dom? We need to get to the water. Wait, what? Dom was just here, Kianja, I swear. Here, Akeem, grab your cloak and mask. Cover yourself. Kianja, I need to find her. Akeem, forget her. We will get you a new sorceress to play with. What are you talking about? Stop being such a fool, Akeem. She can be replaced. Kianja, not now. You're scared. I only everybody. have one of you, my child. Enough. She Kianja. will never be one of us. I am not leaving her here. Uh, Marcus? Kianja, you've got to move. Now! What, Asper? The ash is getting too No, thick Akeem, to I'm fast. sorry. Come back. Kianja, we need to assist in the evacuation. He'll be fine. The ash is giving your men oh, enough Marcus, cover. We need to get everyone out of the city. Him. Now! Hey, water bearer. Are you okay? Hey, are you all right? Good. All right, uh, let's all get going to the shore. There should be boats. It's our best bet. We'll find everyone else soon enough. All right now, run. Go, go. Don't look back. Just run. Marcus, there's too much ash. Hey, get I your families to the anything. scene. You, grab those robes. We need those for the other soldiers. I know it's hot, but we gotta keep running, all right? Marcus, I'm scared. Don't be, all right, Kianja? We can't both be scared at the same time, right? I'll let you know when it's your turn. <laughs> okay. Dom found a boat. Dom found a boat over there. All right, let's go. Mistress, I uh, found a boat for all of us, of course. Yes, well done, Dominic. I see him. I see Akeem. He's with the witch. All right, over we there. made it. Man, that was They're some quick footwork children. back there. Akeem, you should consider here. joining the Legion, assuming we get out of this alive. Now, board the ship for me, all right? Well, hello again, stranger. Wait, before you get on, could you help me get the kids onto the boat with you? Oh, thank you so much. Thank you? What happened to the mountain? Don't you see? It's exploding. Wow, Dom. And just when I thought you were nothing but a petty thieving coward, you go and prove me absolutely right. What? What? Are you mad? You see, Kianja? Not now, boys. This is we why I don't even try the with ship. the greys. You never appreciate anything us vampires do Dominic, for you. not now. Yeah, whatever. You were ready to sail off without us, weren't you? I would never leave you all behind. You really think I could get away with doing something yeah, like that? Yeah, We'll have an award waiting for you back in Rome. I'll see to it that you're honored for your bravery, Stop all right? Stop fighting. You're scaring the children. All right, all right. Okay, Akeem. Yes, sir. We gotta do one more sweep. There's still room in this boat for more survivors. Uh, no, Marcus. I'll go instead. Let me help Kianja, you. Kianja, stay on the boat. And Dom, keep an eye on Meng Yao. She probably breathed in a lot of smoke and ash out there. Yes, sir. It would be a pleasure to watch her choke on it. Dom. Domina Draconis, you're a witch. Did you see any of this coming? Can you use your magic to... do anything? No, I had no idea, and I've done everything I can, Marcus. I swear. All right, fair enough then. Let's go, little Akeem, prince. please stay with us. Your hood and cloak won't be enough. You'll burn. It's okay, my princess. The ash will cover me. Now stay and help calm the survivors. I can smell the children's fear, and yours. Why don't you sing to them? They'll like that. Okay, just make sure you come back, please, Akeem. I'm so scared. I'm not going to abandon you. I will return, I promise. W wait come here. Meng Yao, what are you doing? Why are you pulling his mask down? Oh my gods, it's finally happening. No, don't do that. You! Ew, gross. Vampire breath, I bet. Akeem, we gotta... Oh. Oh, so you're kissing in public now? And in broad daylight? During volcanic disasters? <laughs> Perfect. It's always about you two. I can hardly deal with this. Be careful, my prince. Don't let anything happen to Marcus. We need to keep him and Kianja safe to lead us. They're the most important. And what am I? Sheep guts? Okay, hey, I will. I'll be back. I love you, Akeem. Let me tell you something. I love you too, Meng Yao. Come children, let's sing a song together. It'll all be Marcus, okay. I don't care. I'm coming with no, you. No, woman. You're too important to m This mission. I don't know what I... What we would do if something were to happen to you. You and your men rule the night, but mine rule the day, all right? Now abide by your oath and get these people to safety. You're just thinking like a soldier. No, I'm thinking like a father. I gotta set a good example for my kid, and this is part of the job. Uh-uh. Back away from the edge. Don't worry, vampire lady. They'll come back. We'll get hurt. 
They're heroes. Heroes always return if they say they will. We just have to wait. What if they don't return, Dominic? I can't lose them both. They'll come back, Kianja. I just hope this isn't a bad omen. A sign of things to come. <laughs> 